Hey everyone, Casey here from Clientric. In this tutorial, we're going to break down the Zoho Canvas Builder for Zoho CRM, and we're going to go through a full example, and we're going to apply it to the module so you can see what it looks like when the data is actually being applied to it. So in order to get started, we come to our main page here. We are going to drop on over to the Zoho Canvas Builder under Customization here. And once we click this, we are actually going to create a new record detail. Let's work on leads as well and let's create. So it's nice that this is a very simple tool. It's very easy to just drag and drop all these various elements. You're gonna notice that um, it's quite easy once you get the heading of it, <clears throat> excuse me. So we're just gonna choose the blank template here and we can actually just start choosing to drop uh, pieces of data down. So most of the time you start with the lead image. If you like the lead image, you can drop that there we can change this so the radius is, uh, let's say 150 and 150, and we can, uh, oh sorry, that was the, the height and the width, and we can change this so it's a circle, we can change it so it's not quite as circular. So let's put that there. Then we want to create a new element. Let's create a section over here. This section here is going to be the highlight information. So we're gonna drag it over here and let's make it look something like that. We're going to set the radius to be 15 pixels. That looks good. And in here, we are going to put um, the lead owner. We are going to put the company. And let's put the first and last name as well. And last name over here and now we could do some some other things here we can add in different pieces and on the other side let's say we want to add in the phone email and let's just move this over and let's see if there's any other information we want to grab let's leave that like that for now um, and then we want to grab a tab so let's say we want to create this. This will allow us to tab back and forth to different options. So in this case, let's say that we want to call this one um, emails or email history, let's say. And in this one, we want to add another custom. And let's say we want to add, let's see, what other related list do we have that we could want to display? And let's say attachments. So this element we'll call attachments. So we have those two pieces right now. We click back on the email history, make this a little bit bigger. We can then bring in the emails tab over here and we can make this slightly bigger if we wanted. And this is where it would show up. And then we could actually click the attachments and we could drag and drop the attachments in there as well. So let's click that. So once this is in there, and these attachments are just from the lead, um, we were working on a different tutorial there. So we have the email history and the attachments and it allows you to do a couple other things there. Now, if we wanted to include another button down here, we definitely could. So let's say, um, we wanted to add in an email button down here, or better yet, let's just move this up. So we're going to move this down, and we want to put this send email button right here. And when we're doing that, we can um, also, let's create the background here. Let's change this slightly. Let's choose another color. We can set that to this color, make it look a little bit different. And let's make this a gradient and we'll just play around with that. So it'll look something like that. Just for adding some different looks in here. And within this tab itself, we have a lot of different options. Um, and let us add in more information. So let's say we want to add in the lead owner and uh, a bit of other information. 
So we could, let's see what else we have in here. So let's add in another custom tab here, and we're gonna call this um, company information. So we're gonna leave that there, and let's insert a table here. And we'll add a column there, and we'll add another column, and then we can add in some information. But first, let's also add in some text, so we can add in a header here. And let's change the color. It's not exactly what we wanted. Let's leave that as no fill and change the color to let's do that. There we go. We want to click that. Okay, so now we have a title here and we can change the pixel amount. Let's say we want it to be 30. And now that we have this we can continue on with adding the data to it. So we want to say the lead owner is in this one. We can add in the website in the next column or in the next row. And then we could say created by over here. We could put in the annual revenue. And what else would we want? Let's leave that there. We'll delete this column. And so this information as it gets added, we'll just go right there. We can continue to add in more information if we would like, but in this case, I think it's okay the way it is. And we would also want to add in various different icons. So we can put an icon here. And let's select this option but let's make this slightly bigger. And again, we can add in more data. So we can add in upcoming actions over here. There we go. So let's just say we wanna add that to the middle And basically we could just keep going with this um, as we wanted. There is more information that can be displayed. It makes a lot of sense for those businesses out there that want something a bit more customized to their needs. So let's just say we want to save this. So we could say uh, lead test view, because this has just been a test. Actually, let's call it the lead tutorial view. So let's click save. And let's look at Canvas assignment. So we can actually choose it to show up uh, on the administrator profile or the standard profiles as well, which means you can have even different views for different team members. So you can show different data or even just whole, like different whole views to different team members. Um, this is really good for those businesses who have multiple businesses in one, you can really start to separate the information out. So let's say you're a construction company and maybe you're also a, pro um, a property management company. If you want to combine those two uh, portfolios into this CRM, it's a lot easier now to display the data for the different parts or different components of your businesses. So that's really cool as well. So we've now saved this assignment so now we see that this lead tutorial view is now showed up here. It's created by user one and modified by user one. And if we go to the leads, when I click into this lead, you will see that it is this new view. So it's not the best view. There's tons of other things we can do here. It really depends on what your business requirements are. I think this is gonna be super, super powerful for a lot of your businesses that are out there. And because you just, you have the option to display information whatever way you want, whatever makes sense for your business and the way your processes work. So this will make your team a lot happier because you can put in the specific pieces of information they need at a moment's glance and they are going to love it. So I look forward to seeing what other people are able to create. This is just a very, very basic overview and tutorial about how to use it. But if you want more tutorials on it or if there's any questions on it, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe to our channel. There's always new content being created and being released. So we're more than happy to have you join us for the ride and make sure you get notified as soon as a new piece of content is available. Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and look forward to talking with you soon. Bye for now.